Hey, what's going on? Joe from Train Out of Pain coming to you today with day three of five things that you should be removing from your life if you have fibromyalgia. So today's a little different. Um, there's a great way that you can actually look into the, what we're gonna be talking about today. And what we're gonna be talking about today is stop drinking tap water. Now, there's a caveat to this. Um, what I encourage you to do to find what your local municipal water is using is you can go to the Environmental Working Group, go to their website, it's ewg.org, and you can look at their tap water database. So I believe you punch in your zip code and it'll tell you what they have found in your water. Now, there's a couple of things that are extremely detrimental to our biology that is found in most tap water, definitely found in the tap water where I live. Um, chlorine is one of them and fluoride is another one. Now, fluoride has been around for a while and it's been used in all types of different products, especially um, toothpastes, but it has some extreme deleterious effects for our us down to the cellular level. So one of the things that I do is I actually have a filter on my shower head to reduce the amount of chlorine that comes out because if you're using warm water chlorine is vaporized you inhale it and that is extremely dangerous to us that's why I'm not a big fan of getting into a jacuzzi um, that has bubbles because I'm actually inhaling even more it's, it's definitely not something I want to do but the fluoride presents an even bigger problem and that problem is that it basically reduces your ability to absorb or assimilate UV light now that is a huge problem. Um, if you can't absorb UV light, you are going to have some extreme health conditions and health concerns. Maybe even some autoimmune conditions can be um, a factor. Can, you can end up with some autoimmune conditions because you are high in fluoride. You, want, you need to be able to assimilate UV light so that you can create vitamin D. Creating vitamin D through your skin does some wonderful things like lower your cholesterol, lowers your blood pressure, and turns on about a thousand other genes where if you're taking a vitamin D pill, it does none of those things other than raise your numbers. So I do not drink tap water. I haven't drank tap water in quite some time. I do not cook with tap water. It's just out of my life as much as possible. So what do I encourage you to drink? Spring water. Spring water from natural sources. Um, Avion is a great source. Um, I drink water from Iceland every once in a while. Glacier melt water is great. Um, here in the States, we have a few different brands that are really, really good. Um, the one that I drink pretty much daily, let's see if you can see this. I know it's backwards, but this is the Mountain Valley Spring Water. It is out of Arkansas. Delicious, delicious water. I cook with this. I drink only this water. Um, every once in a while, like I said, I'll go and get some water from Iceland, but for the most part, I stick with this. It's in glass bottles and easy to find for the most part. Now. There is another uh, water that comes out of California, which is Crystal Geyser, which is a natural spring water. I don't recommend you get water from California. I live in California, and I don't recommend you do that. You wanna be able to get water that is higher up um, in latitude, and like I said before, anything that comes from glacier melt water is gonna definitely be the best. So I encourage you to stop drinking tap water. Go to the Environmental Working Group, to their website ewg.org and look at their tap water database see what they have found that is in your local municipal water and once you find that out go ahead and look and see what the harmful effects to your body are but you find the chemicals that are in there including chlorine and fluoride like i said if you have any questions any comments as usual let me know comment down below if you don't feel comfortable commenting you can always send me a message as well and we'll come to you tomorrow with another tip to remove from your life if you have fibromyalgia. Talk to you then.